Welcome everyone. The first step to activate your iPhone 15 is if you see this hello screen, then your iPhone is not activated. And we're going to start by swiping up to open. We are then going to select our language and our region. Once we have done this, let's give this a couple of seconds. It will now ask us for the appearance. You can slide this to large, medium, but I will leave it default. We will see the quick start. And if you have an old iPhone, you can bring it together and it will sign into the Wi-Fi networks and sign into your Apple account automatically. But I'm going to select set up without another device. If you plan on activating eSIM, you must connect to a Wi-Fi network now in order for the eSIM to activate. If you have a physical SIM card you need to insert, insert it now so we can check if there are any issues with activation. In my case, I'm going to enter in the Wi-Fi login. Now, once we have done this, it's going to start the activation. This is the first activation check. This is checking if your iPhone was run by a previous owner. So if there's any old owner accounts, such as their iCloud, their Apple account, then it will ask you to enter in that old login information. If it's asking you to enter in login information that you do not know, contact the seller and see if they can remove their Apple account. And if they can't, the phone may be stolen or the old owner forgot their login. Regardless, the phone cannot be used by you, so I would advise you return the phone as soon as possible. Now, we just need to go through the setup screen, follow the on-screen instructions until we see this following screen. This is the second activation. This is setup mobile service. If you've already inserted the SIM card, you can skip this. If you are, have a US model of iPhone, then you must activate your eSIM right now. If you have eSIM from your old iPhone, you can use the transfer, bring your old iPhone together, and then you can quickly move the eSIM over. If you have an eSIM QR code, you can scan it here. I have a dedicated video on activating eSIM, which is in the description. And so if you need help, watch that video. But the summary is, if you activate your eSIM card and your phone number adds, and there are no activation issues, there's no issues about, you know, your phone being locked and your carrier not being supported, then your iPhone has been activated successfully. There's no carrier lock and there's no old owner lock. However, if you activate your eSIM or you insert your SIM card and it's saying your phone is locked and the carrier is not supported, then there is a SIM card lock and you will either have to use a different carrier or you can't use your current iPhone 15. And so we can just go to the home screen here. And once we're on the home screen, we are fully activated and we are in business. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.